the question about which questions are important to ask, that is one way to put it, right? Because until science gives you answers, but where do those questions come from? That has emerged as a topic in and of itself. And I think people in different parts of the world with different life experiences have very different ideas about what the most important question is. Since 2005, people have been saying very clearly in the UK that I don't care what the experts are saying about growth, we're not experiencing it. And mm. so you could argue that people on the lower, not even the lower, on the second half of the income scale, actually everyone other than the top 10% have not seen the proceeds of those growth and that growth. And to them, it's immaterial whether there's been growth or not. We tend to blame the system. We tend to blame institutions but systems and institutions are made by persons. If the peer system is not working, it's because the peer reviewers have bias. The peer reviewers define their, their rules. And if there's no more diversity in research, maybe we can change as funders. Opening up the characters, what characters are we looking for? What type of uh, scientists are we looking for? The thing that has been mentioned many times by now, how do we assess brilliance? How do we ex assess success? And I think this we can change in a relatively short amount of time if we get any, everybody on board. Diversity is not only important from a fair social uh, question, it's also important because uh, it's proved that uh, we have better results in terms of innovation, in terms of research, in terms of economy, if you have a more diversity society. Inequalities may be inherent to our selection system. So we select excellence, we select through excellence. When we, uh, when we do that, uh, we promote a kind of winner-takes-all dynamics, and this is a, selection, a, a decision that we take in our schemes which are uh, based in, in excellence. Do we do enough then? We need to become much more open to the idea of experimentation, the idea of re recognizing that we don't have the answers and there is no way, no, no, better, no, no other way often of getting those answers than just testing out in the field the program, the idea, the activity that we want to implement to see whether it's having the intended effect. For me, I, I would think about the criteria you use to evaluate excellence, really thinking through what, what is it and it's, is it just publishing in the top journals or is it about contributing to an inclusive research culture and I think if we start thinking about that contributing to the research culture as well as doing good research then we think about perhaps different types of people. You don't stick your neck out alone, you do it with others and if there are dozens or hundreds of good institutions that do this, then the, the more likely it is to succeed. We're bringing together foundations and national associations in very, very different ways. One of them is by building data and knowledge on the philanthropic sector and also distributing and disseminating beyond. Foundations are able to go beyond democracy, if you will, and uh, be able to be accountable to different kinds of measures and to identify gaps in a way that is often not as cumbersome as the things that governments necessarily have to do with public money. A meeting like this that brings together foundations from different countries located with different frameworks of understanding what the social problems are, I think this is a tremendously important gathering because it spurs a kind of self-questioning but also a potential opening up uh, to a whole that is greater than the sum of the parts. <laughs>